Hi everyone, Matt from the pre-sales team at Net Support here and today I've got another video for you where we're going to be taking a look at how to set up our Classroom.Cloud software on your Chromebooks. So as you can see I'm signed into the Classroom.Cloud web portal here. I've also got my Google Admin Console open so we're going to need this to deploy the extension out to our Chromebooks. And then finally, I've got a remote desktop session to the Chromebook I'm going to be using in this demonstration. Now, you don't need this remote desktop session as part of the setup. I'm just using it so it makes it a bit easier for me to show you how things look on the Chromebook itself. So the first thing we need to do is jump into our web portal, click on Sites, and then the name of your site, then click on installers, select the button for Chrome, and then click on this copy button. And what this is doing is it's copying this site configuration you can see here into a JSON file, which we'll need for configuring the extension in a moment. So from here, you want to jump into your Google Admin Console and then click on devices, apps and extensions, and then select the users and browsers tab and then you want to select the OU that contains the users you want to deploy the extension to. So it's probably going to be the OU containing your student user accounts. Now from here, you want to click on this yellow button and then click on the button for the Chrome Web Store. And then we want to do a search for the classroom.cloud student. So that's what we want. And then click on the extension and then click on the select button and what this will do is it will add the uh, extension into this portion of the page so from here click on the extension and there's two settings that we want to change here so this allow install we want to change to force install and print pin to browser toolbar so this will put an icon on the browser toolbar and when the students click on uh, the extension icon it will give them access to some of the features within the software the other thing we need to do is enter the configuration and that is done uh, down at the bottom here in this policy for extensions. So click where it says enter a JSON value and just click on paste and that will paste in our account details. And then finally, we want to click on the save. And then when that is saved, you will see that it changes the information against the extension here. So if we jump over to my Chromebook now, you can see that the extension has been deployed and we have a classroom.cloud icon on the toolbar. But this grey colour indicates that the software at the moment isn't licensed, so we can't actually interact with this device yet. So in order to license the device, we need to jump back to our classroom.cloud web portal. And the way we license devices in classroom.cloud is by adding them to a device group. So you want to select device groups from the menu, click add device group, Give your device group a name so i'm just going to call mine chromebooks leave these two settings as they are and then click on the add button next you want to select unassigned devices and you can see i've got my uh, chromebook here it's reporting as unlicensed and there's two ways we can add this device to the device group to license it so i can click these three dots here and click assign or if you've got multiple devices, you can select them using the tick box here and then use the button at the top here to bulk assign, select the group you want to place the device into, click yes. And then if you select devices, you should then see your device appear here with a status of available. And if we jump back to my Chromebook, the icon for classroom.cloud is now blue and that indicates that the software is licensed and it's fully working. So the final thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to connect to the Chromebook using the classroom management portion of the software. So to do that, you want to click on my classes, click on the name of your site, Click the Add Class button. Connection type wants to be Device Group. Give the class a name, so I'm just going to call my class Chromebooks. Description is optional, so fill it in if you want. If you don't, leave it blank. 
I'm going to select my Chromebooks device group and then we need to pick a subject. This just sets the icon attached to the class. It has no impact on how the software functions. So pick whatever you like from this list. I'm going to select computing, click on add, and then to start the class, simply click the class name. And there we go. I'm in the teacher console. I've got a connection to my Chromebook and I can start exploring all the classroom management functionality. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.